I wanted to ask about the distant future. Is there anything on your minds for like that you see coming into, uh, or that you would like to have, or that you would like to change? Like maybe actually what you would like for TypeScript is for it to kind of like slow down. Actually, the the barrage of like constant new language features has, I, I think it has gone down in a nice way. And it's just been more like quality of life improvements, you know, uh, language server stuff. Broadly speaking, what's on your mind? I think the, the, the way I think about this sometimes is like, um, it's almost like you're explorers on an, on a new land and you can, you can sometimes see things over the horizon and, and sometimes you can't. And I think there are, there are a few things on the local horizon. I don't want to make any, I don't want to make any news, so I'm not going to talk about them specifically. Okay. But a lot of the times there's, there's features that are like broadly seen as desirable and we just haven't quite figured out how to do them yet. And sometimes we make we make exploratory uh, sort of like trial implementations and say, like, okay, what are the consequences of doing this? Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the time what we find is like, okay, the consequences of doing this are really bad in terms of like, you know, we're talking about, in, we're talking about a kind of type that you would need to infer but if you did infer it, it would be really weird and bad. Um, so yeah. then that sometimes has impacts on like control flow and widening. And so sometimes what happens about maybe. Oh um, my gosh, that would be, I, I have I have a watch many years. I I, uh, <laughs> I go back to that every single time anything happens on that thread, I, I get really excited and I open it. And it's usually just people talking. Yeah, <laughs> so sometimes you look at these and you're like, there doesn't seem to be a way to do it with the mechanics that we have in place. And then, yep. you know, you go do work in other area um, and then, you know, other areas and like you do work around control flow and you do, you get smarter around widening. And sometimes then you come back to these issues that you last looked at, you know, six years ago and you're like, wait a minute, this is a shoe in now. It's very easy to do this today. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if like exact optional property types is like that, but um, that's kind of where this, I think that's kind of the iterative process we have is like, you make things better, just kind of overall better. And then you look at the features and you're like, well, what can we, you know, I, I think the there's not going to be a feature request that comes in tomorrow that is like totally earth shattering, groundbreaking. Oh man, no one's thought of that before, yeah. right? Like I think most of the things that have, I think are plausible next ideas, there, there's open issues with 200 plus upvotes on everything that we could plausibly do next, right? So it's yeah. not going to like, Surprise not, anyone. Not as important yeah. as the pipeline operator, though, can I just say? <laughs> just take it up with the committee, man. Um, <laughs> um, so it's just all about figuring out like what's the next thing that we can do that we know that we want that we can actually like do. Um, yeah. It's not so much that like we're not, it's like you can go implement these things, right? Like every single thing that's open today, I think like you can go, maybe not you, me, but like a yeah. person who's familiar with the type with the, with the code base can go and implement something that like works and gets the job done, but like, is it going to feel good in the language? Because we don't want to go out there with like with language features that like, you know, oh, you can use this, but you have to have type assertions everywhere. You can use this, but like all your yeah. functional return types just got gnarly and awful. Like you can use this, but you got to go update to every package on definitely typed before it even works at all. Those aren't the kind of features you want to add. So um, it, it's just really hard. Uh, you know, we get the kind of like, what's five years from now question. And I think yeah. we got to feel it. We, we're just kind of plotting out the local area at all times because that's the local area is the only place that you can make progress. I, yeah, I think we we often revisit based on like, oh, years years later you can express this other thing, right? Like we we had string literal types since TypeScript zero point eight, but they weren't usable in a general sense because you didn't make sense to have a standalone string literal type until you had a union type, mm -hmm. and then you could say, oh, well. It, yeah, sure. Red, it, like the string red is a, is not a useful type, but red or blue starts to become useful for expressing existing APIs, things like that. Um, so you start to see the ability to build off of past ideas. You come back to a problem with fresh pair of eyes, and you realize, actually, we've come up with the right primitives to express this or that or whatever, right? So I think there's a lot to that. And so in, in a sense, like, it's always kind of like, there's always ongoing stuff that comes up. Someone at someone asks something on the issue tracker, oh, we haven't thought about that in a couple of years. It's a dupe of that. But, yeah, hey, now something's a little bit different, right? But I, I would say, like, you know, apart, apart from the type system, right? Because TypeScript is so much more than just the type system as well. It's the language service. It's the... 
it's the thing that powers a lot of type-based tooling as well, the API. Um, and so like that's that's a big part of it. And I would love that. Some some performance benchmark tooling uh, so, would be super, super fantastic for sometimes I show so I on the screen I I I just like this one. Sometimes I show people yeah. this uh this length of string implementation. Um Maybe I, I mean to me this is common, so I, I know exactly why it's doing this thing with S. But are you, have you guys seen stuff like this before? Yeah, totally. <laughs> so it's like it's um, like recursion busting, you know, um, yeah. popping off ten strings at a time, and uh, if it gets to fewer than ten, then it takes them one at a time because there's a recursion limit. And it's they don't like, teach the kids loop unrolling in school anymore, do they? <laughs> they just don't teach them. Uh, um, but I, I think like so 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 part of it is actually. In the near term, we've been focusing on uh, a lot of stability and performance stuff, right? So, like, mm -hmm. maybe you've seen discussion around stuff where, oh, I need to restart PS server, right? It's definitely a thing that we're investigating, trying to figure out, like, how to reduce that. We have some automated um, automated stuff that, that can discover crashes in the language server, which is really cool. I would love to, like, write up about it at some point soon. Um, yeah. and, I, and we also have... Uh, a lot of investment in the perf side, right? So you you heard about uh, probably in five O we did a bunch of stuff. One of the yes. big ones being we switched Name modules, spaces. which allowed us to use a bundler, which allowed us to get scope hoisting, which made every access much faster for every like other global and and, and engines can optimize based on that. But you don't get that every release. So mm -hmm. the question is now how do we continue finding places where we could be a little bit more uh, smart in how we're, how we're compiling, right? And, and yep. so there's stuff where we say like, well, let's, let's get a little bit crazy here. Like, what if we stop parsing this? What if we stop parsing JS doc unless you strictly need to? We used to do that. Now we got slower. So how do we kind of, you know, still fake it when we can? Um, and so I think that that has the ability to like pay the biggest payoffs near term is just to like try to improve the quality there. But that never means that we stop with the innovation on the type system side, right? We're always still thinking and, and pushing that as well. So definitely, uh, you reminded me of this. Uh, I, I'm interested in this project, STC, the right. someone rewriting the checker in Rust. This is a monumental task, but uh, I've tried to make some contributions. But just he he pushes like six commits a night. <laughs> uh, so, but it's it's very exciting to watch. I just want to say, like, kind of in closing, um, I'm so glad that we have you guys. Uh, and gals like everybody on the TypeScript team pushing this art form forward and like I don't know just the the power that you've unlocked for just me per, just little old me personally in my life for to be able to deliver cool software to users it's usually not cool but I try my team tries it's uh I, I'm just I feel really lucky that we have such a dedicated team that's um and you know you, you came and talked to me that's that's really great stuff and um, all of the work and all the effort that you put on, it can be so exhausting, like this array dot includes one we looked at earlier. It can be so emotionally burdensome uh, to to try to kind of like be there on the stand in front of the in front, you know, in the amphitheater all the time, every day. But uh, I just wanted to express my extreme gratitude for what it is that you guys do, you guys do. Yeah, and we really appreciate the way the community has come up, and um, I love seeing you know people doing type challenges, people making this content. It's all uh, it feels just great to see people embrace it. And um, it's great to see people enjoying the software you, you work on every day because um, ultimately um, we're here to just make developers happy. It's like literally your job description. So you're crushing um, it. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Because right without, without the community, like TypeScript is just, it's just it, the product, right? But without like people liking, yeah. using, advocating, loving it, um, you know, it, it, it all has to come together, right? And so I think that that that's what makes us happy as well. Yeah. Awesome.